Hey guys, Case Manace here, and today I'm doing my very first closet cosplay challenge. Karingalinga asked for Misty from Pokemon, so that's what I'm dressed as today. Um, I know it's not very easy to see in the window, so here are some pictures and some cartoon for you to compare to. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I figured if I'm going to dress as a Pokemon character, then I better play Pokemon. Um, I actually played Pokemon Yellow growing up, um, so Pokemon Red is not my scene, but I figured I better play Pokemon Red because otherwise I can't have a Squirtle. And what's a Misty without water Pokemon, right? So let's do it! Um, I'm not going to play the whole game, I just kind of wanted to... Hello there, welcome to the... Shoot. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I don't know what this voice is. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Which is kind of weird if you think about it. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Hey. Okay, so we're going to be Misty. Since I'm dressed as Misty. So creative, right? Right, so your name is Misty. Misty. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Alright, we all know how this goes, right? Right? We all know how this goes. We were all there. There we go. That's right, I remember now. His name is Poo Poo. Misty, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, I'm not actually planning on playing the whole game. <laughs> Misty is playing the S SNES. Okay, it's time to go. Um, I don't plan on playing the whole game because we've all seen and played Pokemon before. Don't front, guys. Um, but I do plan to play to the first gym battle. If it doesn't take me long. I can't really actually remember how long it takes. Because it's been a billion years since I've played Pokemon. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. And if it's on TV, it must be true. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Okay, bye. Um. Yeah, this game brings back a lot of memories. Hello. Hi, Misty. Poo Poo is out at Grandpa's lab. Well, you're no help. Uh, lab. So, we've all played Pokemon before. Uh, I actually realized whenever I started to play this. Oh, there's Gary. Poo Poo. Yo, Misty! Gramps isn't around! Oh, well, that's helpful. Then I guess I have no choice but to wander out into the dangerous tall grass. See, and I played yellow, so I got a Pikachu as soon as I went into the grass. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Is that the same voice I did for him before? I have no idea. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! Hmm, I know! Here, come with me! Yeah, see, he's kind of glitching a little bit there, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I always played Pokemon Yellow because I'm a brat and I want a special Pokemon. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Popo, let me think! Oh, that's right, I told you to come! Just wait! Here, Misty! There are three Pokemon here! Ha-ha! <laughs> They're inside the Pokeballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose! Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Poop! You can have one, too! I'm so mature, right? No, I don't want the fire Pokemon. So, you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander? No. Where's the water Pokemon? There he is! 
Squirtle, Tiny Turtle. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully, powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. So, you want the water Pokemon. Squirtle, yes. This Pokemon is really energetic. I got a Squirtle. Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? Yes. Um... Let's go with... Splishy. That's very artistic. I'm so clever, you guys. You don't even know. I'll take this one, then. He received a Bulbasaur! That sounds boring. Sorry to any of you Bulbasaur lovers. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Wait, Misty! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Listen. And the first battle in the Pokemon game is always so sad because you're just like tackling each other back and forth. Poo Poo wants to fight. Poo Poo sent out Bulbasaur. God, I haven't played this in forever. This is funny. Yeah, and so you just tackle each other back and forth and it's really kind of depressing. But you know. Such is the life of a Pokemon trainer. Oh no, my attack fell. Whatever shall I do? God, I feel like such a nerd right now. You know, I, I play video games on camera all the time, but I've never felt as silly as I do playing Pokemon. Because I was like 10 years old when this started, and I was obsessed. Wow, so my tackles are really lame now. <sighs> Hang on a sec, I'll be right back. Oh, you son of a bastard. Am I gonna lose? What the fuck? You know what? I'll cheat. Is it cheating? It's not really cheating. God, I forgot how long these battles take. Yeah! What now, Gary? I mean, poop? Yeah! Oh, level six! Fight me! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! Ha-ha! Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up! Misty, Gramps, smell you later! God. Okay, so how do I go get the map or whatever? Hi, Misty! Well, but can I have your map? Or am I forgetting? Am I thinking of the wrong game? It's a big map. This is useful. Okay. Well, I thought she gave me the map. Alright, I guess I'm going out into the Poke Wilderness. Poke Wilderness. I don't even have any Pokeballs yet. How am I supposed to get any Pokemon? This may take forever, actually. A wild Pidgey appeared. I can't believe I nicknamed it Splishy. I'm gonna come up with the dumbest nicknames possible for every Pokemon that I get. I swear to God I am. Oh! Hey! The Pokemon is like 90% farming. Really. Yeah! Onward. Paratata. I can literally remember the names of probably all of the original 151 Pokemon, and I don't know how to feel about that. Like, on the one hand, that means I have a good memory. On the other hand, it means I'm a freaking nerd. We all knew that already, right? But yeah, so as a kid, I got my copy of the first Pokemon of Pokemon Yellow at Sam's Club and I got it with a guide back in the day when we didn't have the internet and so you had to use your own guide and it was like literally a little magazine and my Game Boy was a clear purple one Game Boy Color and this is all I played really I had other games 
Well, I played lots of Legend of Zelda, too. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting Fitch. We hope to see you again. Have a nice day now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. What else is there to do with this stupid town? There's a Pokemon. Can I buy a Pokeball ship? Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Oak's parcel! Woo! Okay, thanks. And getting home is much easier because I can jump, just jump over the ledges. Maybe I will beat this first uh, gym before I think. I just feel like it's going to take forever. But I'm going to cut out most of the like fighting and farming because y'all have seen that before. Level 8! What? Oh, I learned a water move! Means I can beat Brock's Onyx. I seriously remember way more details about this game than is right. It ain't right. Hey, hey, hey! What happened to all his other Pokemon? This jerk. What'd you call me for? All right, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Misty and Poop, take these with you. I got a Pokedex. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, um, that was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Missy, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Missy. Ha ha! What? A douchebag. Hey, can I have a map? Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Hey, thanks. So, I'm gonna go on to the uh, gym and fight Brock. But what kind of world is this, really, where it's like, yes, we will let all of our 12-year-olds wander off into the wilderness where there are dangerous creatures that can attack them, and then they're going to capture those creatures and make them fight each other in battles. Like, what's up with that? I wonder if I could beat Brock with just one Pokemon. Okay, I got some Pokeballs. I'm going out. I'm going to fight. And I'm going to get some Pokemon. Yes, mysterious. Who could it be? Certainly not the leader of Team Rocket. God, I'm such a nerd. Help. I gotta get a gym badge. I'm gonna be the very best. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is the cause. Why do I know these words? What's wrong with me? Oh. All right! Oh, and everyone in this forest has, like, grass-type Pokemon. Ah! Bye-bye! I get really aggressive playing Pokemon. None of these bug Pokemon can cut it, really. Why are there even people whose favorite Pokemon are bug types? Like, I can I can understand if you like, um... If you like, a the, the Beedrill, or, you know, like, um... A freaking butterfree, but the rest of them are kind of super mega lame. Like, who wants to have a collection of freaking metapods, right? They're almost as useful as a Magikarp, which is to say not at all. The fact that I remember this stuff, why is this the stuff that my brain chooses to retain? I could have remembered algebra, uh, but no, I just remember 151 Pokemon that uh, aren't even the only ones anymore. There's like 700 Pokemon now, and... You could show me a picture of anything and be like, that's a Pokemon, and I wouldn't know if you were telling the truth anymore because I'm old. Guys, I'm old. There's, There might be a Pokemon that looks like a freaking... I know there's a Pokemon that looks like a chandelier. There might be a Pokemon that looks like, you know, a sponge. Or... Or a snorkel.
I'm gonna catch this one. Watch me catch this one. Do you remember how they were always like, yeah, if you tap A really hard while it's while you're fighting it? Caught the Pidgey! I caught the Pidgey! Tiny bird, common sight in forest of woods. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Of course I want to give a nickname to Pidgey. Burb! Ugh, it really is. Pokemon is just farming. Farming in game form. That's why we're all addicted to Candy Crush, is because we don't know the difference. Because we were tricked as children into constantly farming our Pokemon. So, uh... I never really watched the Pokemon TV show. And I did not... Well, I had some Pokemon cards, but not a lot, because I was poor. Uh, but I did have Pokemon game. And then we also got Pokemon Stadium for the N64 eventually, which was pretty badass. Uh, especially because you could plug your your game cartridge into the back of it and then you could play with all of your level 100 Mewtwo and Raichu and all that stuff from Pokemon Yellow and it was great. And that's how I grew up to be the nerd that I am now. See, yeah, and the, the book that I had as a kid when I played Pokemon had the map solved for everything so you didn't have to wonder where you were going. Which was nice, because some of these caves you can get hella lost in. <laughs> I feel like I'm about 10 years old right now, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is like some powerful nostalgia here. I'm going to catch this Caterpie. Caterpie. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Do you want to give a nickname to your little worm? Yes, please. Um. Boring. I have to go back to the Pokemon Center because I'm poisoned. This fucking sucks. I hate when this happens. Poor Kakuna can't do anything fun. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! I caught a Kakuna! Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can only harden its shells to protect itself from predators. Bees? Kakuna can't get any harder. <coughs> Jokes. They say video games cause violence. They were talking about like Grand Theft Auto, but I'm telling you right here and right now, the most violent I have ever been has been playing Pokemon. Hairy bug, often found in forest eating leaves, has a sharp venomous stinger on its head. We're gonna call you... Finnin. Made it out of the forest! I made it through the wilderness! You know I made it through! The real question... Can I beat Brock without having done any farming whatsoever? I guess we will find out. Stop right there! They are still light years from facing Brock. Right, right. Light years, as in one, one battle. Okay. Junior Trainer wants to fight! Junior Trainer, sit out Diglett! That Diglett is just as strong as Maya. I may have underestimated these people. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa! 
I go first? Bastard. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. I mean, the move is good. Uh, I just don't know if that means I can beat him. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah! Sand true. No. None of my other Pokemon are strong enough to handle this fight. But that's okay. Because cause I've got my, my, my good Squirtle Turtle here. Squirtle Turtle. Stop scratching me! Listen! That sand shrew is pretty freaking cute though, right? I want one. Oh, itch! Don't matter, I'm awesome! Yeah, what now, junior trainer? You're clearly a junior trainer because you can't face a pro like me. Oh, oh, oh. What now? Darn. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Ha. Ha, ha. I kicked your ass. All right, Brock, here I come. Fight me. I'm Brock. Pure Jim's leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Listen, bruh. Bruh. Brock wants to fight. I, I forgot how much I love the battle music for the bosses. <laughs> Oh man, I love this. Damn! Ew! Ew! Yeah, the thing about this game is when you play Pokemon Yellow, the first gym is super hard because electric type Pokemon have no effect on rock type Pokemon. So this is actually way easier than I'm used to. <laughs> On the first gym. Anyway. Oh, that thing's... Oh, that thing's big. Oh, that thing's big. Kill it now. Kill it fast. Get out of here. Ah, oh, yeah. I have no problems. No problems! What? Boom! Did you see how fast I did that? Did you see that? Two levels in one fight! Yes! I'm a champion. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Yeah! That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's bearer, bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. The Technique Flash can now be used any time! And I got like a billion dollars. Wait! Take this with you! TM34. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach the new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide! Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double! Alright. So I won that gym. And I'm pretty sure the next thing that I have to do is um, go into a cave. And I'm not going to do that right now. I think I've played plenty of this, and it was really only for the cosplay challenge. Again, thank you Karingalinga for your recommendation to do Misty. I'll be doing more of these in the future. And it's always open, so if you have any ideas for good cosplay characters, you can let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, click like or subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!